on today's ProPresenter show, how to add a PNG with transparency to ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks that I share. When I get multiple identical questions in a short time, so that tells me I need to make a tutorial. So today, I'm answering the question, how do you add PNG graphics files with transparency to ProPresenter so that the transparency is preserved? So let's head over to my computer and take a look. If you want to add a PNG to ProPresenter, which is a graphic format that allows for transparency and translucency for that matter, then some people will try and do it by adding it into the background layer in the video image bin, adding it into the foreground layer in the video image bin, or dragging it directly to the slides. None of those will do what you want it to do. In order for a background to go underneath something, it has to be on the slides layer or above. So that means probably under most circumstances you'd use either the slides layer or you'd use the props layer. Before I finish this tutorial, let me take a second to remind you that this tutorial and many of the others on my channel are part of my ProPresenter and other Church Tech courses, which are included in Church Tech U. If you'd like to get access to them for only a dollar for the first month and join a private community of other Church Techies, just go to tdm.fyi slash CTU tutorial. I'm always adding more content and answering new questions, so head over and start your first month today. At only a dollar, the only thing that you have to lose is all the wasted time you're spending looking for answers and training your team with what you eventually learn. Let me give you that time back. Join CTU today. Now back to the tutorial. Let's right click here and go to edit slide. Now normally you probably wouldn't be adding in a lot of images in the edit dialog because as soon as you go to the next slide it's gone. Now I could imagine a situation you know the pastor shows up with a picture that's portrait you want the series background behind it, that would be another situation where you do that. So we click on this, and I could go with, here let me show you the final result. This is from a previous video that I did about using NDI tools, but I, that's the final thing that I used. But instead, I saved this out of Photoshop as a PNG with transparency, and that is right here. So in preview in Mac OS, it looks like it's kind of got a whitish background. But if I select that here, and let's make sure that this, in this case, I want this to totally fill the background. So. Let's make sure I do that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now it's on the slides layer. So just like text here, the background is transparent. And so I can put a background image or video behind it. So let's uh, clear out this background here. And I click on it. And right here it just shows up as a black background. But unless you've changed that, that means that it's probably a transparent background. 
really wish they had like the the checker boxes like some video editors do to show transparency but i i could see how with text that would be difficult so now i can add any background i want to it i could add that background or that background or that background those are all stills but i could also add a video so that's how you add a PNG that has transparency in ProPresenter 6. Pretty simple. People often have one of two reactions to the process of adding graphics to the slides layer. They either use it all the time and are confused when it doesn't do what they want, or they forget it's even an option. If you remember that it's a tool you can use when you want to layer images on top of the background, but that it's not persistent from one slide to another unless you add it into a template, it can be a valuable trick to know. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, just go to TDM dot fyi slash ctu tutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar until next time this is paul allen clifford from trinity digital media.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity